Welcome to Quantum Change. My name is Natasha Williams and I help spiritual people to level up, to live their life with purpose and to be recognized for their worth. And today I want to discuss with you how to increase your frequency and why it's so important. So let me start by telling you a story. Somebody very dear to me used to complain all the time about how sore her head was. And in fact, what she used to say is, I have a splitting headache. And, the, and she'd say it and spit it out like venom almost. And about 10 years ago, she was in a very bad car accident where somebody died and somebody else was really badly injured. And she was flung from the back of the vehicle to the front and hit her head on the dash and was thrown back again. And she actually split her skull in the front and in the back. Now, she might say to me, I do not, I didn't ask for that event. I didn't ask for my head to be split open. But if you look at the words that she used, all along it's been a splitting headache. Now, your subconscious mind is going to manifest whatever you hold in your thoughts. And your thoughts carry an energy vibration. So you might say, I didn't ask for that. But the thing is, you, you get whatever you hold in your vibration, whether it's intentional or not. So if you might say, I have a headache because I, don't want, I want sympathy or I want this to go away rather than focusing on the negative of it and, and needing people to really feel the pain and make it so real that it actually happens, she could have completely averted that altogether and created a different reality. Now the thing is, the more dense you are, and by dense I mean lower vibration, thick, almost like wading through mud, the longer it takes to manifest something. So if I was going to go wade through thick mud, it would take me a longer time to get from one end to the other, versus if I was in a pool of water or in a stream where I'm actually going downstream and manifesting a lot faster. So if you want your reality to happen quicker and you want the good things to come to you, you need to lift that energy vibration. You need to not have it so thick. Now, the way that emotional states work is they sit around your body and in your body like a cloud, like a blanket almost. And if somebody says, for example, I see red, they're literally seeing red. Anger is red. Rage is red. It's the lowest vibration on the spectrum, red is very low frequency vibration and ultraviolet is very high frequency. So, for example, green with envy. Green is a higher vibration than red. Envy is a higher vibration. I would rather be envious than be in anger or rage. But every single vibrational frequency has its pros. In other words, the higher up the frequencies you go, the better you are at. The lowest frequency that you can be in is guilt and shame. Now what happens when you are living in guilt and shame, you block the flow of abundance. You block the flow of everything good coming into your life because somehow, somewhere, you are feeling negative, you're feeling unworthy, you're feeling um, guilty. And the original sin of guilt is actually being born. And a lot of empaths that I know have that feeling of guilt that they don't belong, they weren't wanted, they were not loved as children, and so they rather minimize their presence here on earth because they are not allowed to even exist. They would rather make their life for others better by taking themselves out. Now, the problem is you are on earth and you do want certain things, and there's a reason why you came into being and you are a divine being. And the only way that you are going to make an impact in the world is to start shining and allowing yourself to live and giving yourself permission. And the way that you're going to give yourself that permission is to release the guilt. The guilt and the shame and all the things that you somehow think that are wrong with you. And, and that all ties in with low self-worth, with somebody raging at you because they're having a bad day and you're taking it on. You're taking on all the negative emotions of the world. You're taking on all the pain and the hardships of all the suffering of everybody around you. But you're carrying that around with you. Now, how on earth are you going to manifest something that is great when you're carrying all these things? So the first thing is, is in order to raise your vibration, you need to let those negative emotions go. Now, I have a lot of clients that say to me, oh, that's great. Now I get it. How do I let it go? Well, the thing is, it's not something that you just do. It's like forgiveness. You can't just forgive someone and say, okay, I forgive you. I feel better now. There's a process that happens. 
and in the process that you are going through, the outcome is letting go. The outcome of the process is forgiveness. When you make peace and you find love and wholeness in a certain situation of something that happened, when you find the divine intervention in the event that you couldn't let go, and you find forgiveness, that is where peace comes, that is where love comes, and that is where letting go comes. Now, there are two schools of thought. The one school of thought says that if I just forget about the past, I move on, I just change my story, if it doesn't, if I'm not holding it in my mind, then it doesn't exist anymore, and I can just get into a higher vibrational state. Now, that is possible, but I find that it's kind of blocking off your shadow side. It's saying, that other part of me doesn't exist. I'm just going to pretend it's not there, and if I forget about it, then it'll go away. Now, it is possible if you have an amnesia, and some people can do it. I, however, cannot do it. I found that the more I try and just focus on the positive, the more the negative creeps in. In fact, I've had my worst days where I've tried to be so positive that I wake up so angry and so miserable that for days I can't even get over myself because I'm denying something that I'm not looking at. And so you need to look at that, and that's unfinished business. So when you go into your past and you look at the things that happened that you feel maybe um, somebody needed to apologize for something, or you needed love, you needed security, you needed to feel a sense of belonging, you needed somebody to lift you up, in that younger state that you were at, not who you are today, because you will regress into that younger state every time you go into stress. If you could heal that, you're able to let it go and you can move forward. So it's not a case of going into every single little thing that ever happened. It's going in just to the emotional state. And there are a, there's quite a few emotional states, but there's about seven that you can kind of categorize. So for example, anger would be one. Inside anger, there's irritation, there's frustration, there's rage, there's... Uh, you know, being irate. So there's a lot of different types of anger, but are we just going to categorize anger as one of them? If you can just release those energy vibrations, those memories, and allow yourself to let those things go, you will start to see that that cloud around you is lifting, that blanket is lifting, and you're able to see more clearly. You're able to manifest faster. You're able to let that go because it's been dealt with because you've looked at it, you've owned it, you've stopped trying to let the whole world see it, like this lady that I know, that wanted everybody to see how her head was splitting. In fact, the only person who really needed to see it was her, for her to acknowledge it, to love it, and to let it go. So I have an amazing process that I help people to go through. I've put it on my free transformation program. You can go to my website and you can sign up for it. And it starts off with releasing guilt, with releasing resentment, and it's such a simple process. But when you let those emotional states go, you actually start to increase your frequency and manifest the things that you really want. Now, in the next video, I'm actually going to discuss again, which I have discussed in a previous video, on how to really get clear on what it is you want so that you can create the life that you really want. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead, go join my free transformation program. It's 16 days. I promise you it will set you on a path to introspection because if you want to change what's out there, you need to change what's inside there with you first. I do hope this helps you and I wish you an awesome, awesome week. Looking forward to next time.